How sweet is that thing, huh? That thing just sits here. Awesome. Okay, that's what I had. That's what I picked up. It feels to have the same tension in my hand, give or take a hair. And that's where I put it. I put it from this little tab around the actual shaft. Just a little safety. So it's a lot of springs. So I gotta do the back one still. I just figured I'd show you. Just goes right around. So we can live with that. I got the uh, thermostat. Got a 180. Super stat. And the gasket. So we gotta paint that housing and get that completed. Can you see it? There's the AM from American Motors and there's the part number. And this years went on it cleaned off. This was an NOS hose. Nothing wrong with it. Won't focus. There you go. Another USA part. Okay. We cleaned it. It looked good. Including the hose. So, should have trimmed that gasket a little bit, but it is what it is. Man, everything's getting dirty again and dusty. So, let's get this upper radiator hose on. See the thermostat in there. And I stop at the store. This is the truth. And the guy says, can I help you? I said, yeah, I need a thermostat. He goes, what kind of car? I said, a 1968 AMC AMX. And he turns to me, he goes, they had thermostats back then? And they go, yeah, they even had water pumps. <laughs> so, this has to be turned a little. I noticed that in the video too, because that's where the hard line ends. You can see the angle on it. So, that has to be. So, we'll loosen that up and do that too. So. Okay, I pulled out that coolant bulb, which I'm going to lay back in there. And I didn't think I'd drain that much antifreeze out. Apparently, I drained more than a gallon. Because <laughs> I heard a gurgling out of there. But that was it. I have no signs of coolant. So, I guess I got to get another gallon of coolant. So, I like to keep the same coolant in. I don't mix coolants. Uh, this car runs the Toyota Pink, and that's what it's going to keep with it. Toyota Pink is interchangeable with other brands, but I like the Toyota Pink. So I don't like the Toyota Red, but I like the Toyota Pink. So, and it's uh, pre-mixed. I know it's not Toyota Red diluted. It is a different chemical makeup. Uh, with that, let's find something else to do. Got the cool can cover back on. Anybody that watches our peak channel, our peaks channel knows who uh, Stan Silver is. That he did for me. Did a nice job drawing the water droplets in the ocean. So, don't bother calling that phone number, it doesn't exist. So, okay guys working on the battery uh, just cleaned it also trimmed these things off you know it's got the big ribbing out well I had to notch it for my battery hole down so I just machined them down on both sides definitely has a nicer appeal to it with those things machined down uh, battery is four years old next month so we'll see how it does it doesn't do good we'll get another one and in four years, I'll machine it. So, yeah. Yeah, this car came with a factory hold down, which are very, very, very rare on an AMC that they survive because they run so close to the post that they corrode away. And it was absolutely mint. 
sitting in the back. So I cleaned that one up. I put it on the 68. Um, and I made this one. Which, as you can see, is just two pieces of angle line. I bent up some rod. I welded some tube on. Double locking nut. That was some rod that I threaded. We're going to sand these all down and re-clear them. It's regular steel. Because they run tubes. Nice long tube matches that. So this way the bracket sits right across. It's through bolt of a 3.8 rod. And uh, we're good to go. The battery stays there. And they come nowhere near the posts. If you make the mistake of putting it on this way, you have a major problem. But it actually goes on this way. And it misses it. The factory one, they're actually staggered. One overhangs far and one doesn't. So, I just want the strength. So it has a dead bit of corrosion on it. Be stupid to put it on there with the corrosion there. I guess that'll just spread and look like shit. So, we'll sand and clean that. Uh, and I want to sand and re-clear these things. They held up good for the amount of years they're in there. These things are here from when I built the car. So these have like 11 years on them around batteries. This is my second batter in 11 years. Okay, and this one I obviously put in uh, going on four years on it now. So, what, the first one lasted seven years, guys? Seven years, no battery tender. Four years on this one, no battery tender. The American outside, I think. Actually, the American battery last year or the year before. I got the, the American 14 years, I think. Never used the battery tender on there. The battery in the Amex is long gone at this point. There's no battery in the car because I didn't want it to uh, hold fumes in that plastic wrap. You know, we wrapped the car. So, yeah, I don't use battery tenders. Uh,